Looking back, I wonder if trying to find my father was my only reason for taking that job in Italy. I also wanted some excitement. As it turned out, looking for my father was exciting enough. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of my story. I arrived in Siena the day of the polio, a horse race run every year, in which 10 boroughs of Siena compete for control of the city. The whole town was in the piazza, waiting for the race to start. Well, uh, maybe not the whole town. Come in. Hurry up. Go and load the rest. Hello? 
Not good. Take this off. Of course, we fuck him. If he keeps pushing in like that. What are you laughing at? Who, me? Yes, you. Oh, nothing, sir. I think you're ruining that horse. Who are you to think anyway? Walter, go to the dormitory. Oh, the new hand that everyone's raving about. You've got a very dangerous sense of humor. I wasn't trying to be funny. One more lap. It happens all the time. What? Horatio, the Countess's nephew. He cannot stand the sight of any rider better than him. What would you do if you saw a man die? People die every day. But this was murder. I saw a man shot right after the polio. I wouldn't say anything to anyone. It's part of the polio. Something only the people of Siena can understand. Did you see who did it? Well, there were these two guys, but I didn't stop to ask their names. I see. Well, try to stay out of it. Alfredo? Yes? Have you seen this before? No. I've seen him many times. The others, I think not. You think? A lot of people come to the estate. Most of the borough captains and, and their friends. It's hard to keep track, if you know what I mean. No, I don't. That's why you're working for me. Sir, I didn't think it would be like this. You're afraid after what happened to Marini. Tell me about this young man. This young man, you say, witnessed the murder. I, I'd rather leave him out of this. Alfredo, you're a nice man. But you're a little bit stupid. This isn't a game like the Palio. If we lose, there won't be any paleo next year. Mr. Chung and Mr. Cha, Ostermeyer's Far East contact. All he said was, two men went after him. These people have been smuggling Etruscan art for far too long. Walter doesn't know what's going on. You want, me, you want the paleo to be raised next year, don't you? I told you what will happen if we're obliged to open this investigation publicly. Have you ever asked yourself why, why this, this one borough, the Turtle Borough, hasn't raced in two decades? Why this old, uh, famous old trainer, Ali, uh, Ali Dale, disappeared? Or, or what happened? What really happened to your hero, Valeno? Everybody knows that he killed himself. Come on, Alfredo, you don't believe that. I'm not going to let him hurt the boy. I'm going to protect him. And when he's safe, I'll take him off the case. This afternoon, he showed me a neck chain with a little winged horse in ivory. All of Allendale's jockeys used to, to wear one. Besides the neck chain, the only clue I had about my father was that he had been a jockey in the polio. So I went to the racing committee archives, <laughs> but I had a lot of trouble getting anyone to help me. I finally managed to get copies of some old newspaper clippings, 
And that was how I found the name of an old jockey who used to race at the same time my father did. season. No way. Too many Italians. Catholic. You know what I mean. See, I like my women to be shrewd. But look at that one. Mm. Mm. See? But she doesn't wear any underwear. So, what's your name? What? Your name. Walter. Walter? Luca. Luca Pompa. You mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. So, where are you from? New York. New York? Where's that? What's the name of this guy? I'm a D. He used to ride for the Countess. A jockey, huh? Yeah. Okay, let me handle it. People around here get a little uptight around strangers. <laughs> about uptight. Who's there? Mr. Amadi? Who are you? My name's Walter. Um, Walter Reed and, um, this is my friend, Luca. Hello? We'd like to talk to you. Whatever it is, I know nothing. Well, I found your name through the racing committee and, uh... Ah, you are here to see horses. We'd like to ask you some questions. Come, come, don't be afraid. Does he bite? Oh, yes. You owe me one. Father Giovanni, the local priest, brings it to me after the mass on Sundays. It's a little sweet, but uh, pretty Cheers. good for free. <coughs> Five of us are in the regular season for the Countess. Clideo trained us for the Palio. I want to meet him. Mm. That will be hard. He disappeared many years ago after Belen's death. I heard about that. They said he went crazy. Who were his other jockeys? Uh, Raimondo and Ganesha. And I really don't remember. You're kidding. Isn't that the mayor and the police chief of Siena? I think so. You don't want to talk about it? What about Foleno? That whole story is jinxed. I just want to find out who my father is. I really don't know. Thank you for your time. Where are you wine? Why? Yeah? Are you sure you don't want to buy a horse? No, thanks. Not today. Have a splendid dad of mayor. I'll fire up. Some out of blood. Brandolini estate. You're staying with the Countess? I work for her. I tell you, my friend, the old bitch is so tough that she, she makes Rumble look like Mother Teresa. Be careful. Hey, hey. Want to check out the action in Siena? No, I still have to feed my horse. Too bad. Maybe some other time. You remember me anyway, Luca, okay? Keep in touch. Easy boy. Who's the traitor? Kill 
sui cavalli. Non ho niente. Pensavo fosse mio marito. Cristo! Siamo chiusi! Instead of taking him to the museum, we should have killed him with Alfredo. Forget about him. Do you know how much this whole thing is going to cost me? I don't like him flashing that my train around. Well, if you kept your eyes on the real troublemakers, we wouldn't have to go through these costly arrangements all the time. What if he discovers the truth? Giorgio, the boy is harmless. We'll meet you to the death. His father was harmless too until he wouldn't go along with an art trade. Hiding that picture won't sell anything. We don't want to upset him unnecessarily, do we? I think you are softening up. I heard that he's a marvelous rider. It may come in handy, you know. <laughs> Non mi piaceva. Alfredo sapeva che parte faceva qualcosa. Ehi, hey, guardate chi c'è. How did this happen? A short circuit. What? Tell me what's going on. Go get changed. The police chief wants to talk to you. Suppose I don't believe you. Suppose I put you in jail. On what charge? Arson and homicide. But you don't have any proof. I don't need any. This is my territory. I told you already. I was hit over the head. Oh, yes, and who would want to do such a terrible thing? You, for instance. <laughs> You're not cooperating. I have the right to... Well, you don't. I decide who has rights around here. I've heard a lot about you. 
by the way you write. About that little gold chain of yours. What are you looking for? It's none of your business. You're not being very intelligent, my friend. I hear it's very hard to write without any caps. You just want someone to blame. You. Good afternoon, Chief. Tell me, did you discover any vital information? Not really, Contessa. I was just explaining to our witness here the importance of the matter. So I see. You must be water. Yes, ma'am. I am a dying woman, but... Please don't talk like that. Oh, shut up, Orazio. That's all you're waiting for. But I can still spot a good jockey. I used to have the best ones. Not anymore. So, I may ask you to run for me one day. I'd be honored, ma'am. Though the chief was just telling me that... The racing here is not what one expects. We are full. Um, I'm looking for the girl who works in the museum. We don't have anybody like that here. Uh, I have to return something. Oh, yes, it looks uh, very nice. Did you call me? <sighs> oh, the thief. I didn't think I was going to see you again. I brought your bicycle back. It's about time. Look, I can understand you're pissed with me, but... Pissed? I'm outraged. Come on, do I really look like a thief? <clears throat> In any case, your bicycle is outside there. Where are you going, to masquerade? Well, sort of. I plan to take you out. Give me five minutes and I'll be right down. The front door is locked at ten. And all of a sudden, while I'm standing there patting this dinto, bam, someone hits me over the head. The next thing I know, I wake up at the museum. All I'm trying to do is find my father. But all I seem to be able to do is meet all kinds of weirdos. I wish I had such an active life. Oh, no, you don't. Archaeology is a better trade. Spiders can build their webs around them. Don't you have, a, like, a boyfriend or anything? Triscan scholars aren't exactly the most popular term on that. It's hard to believe. So you come here often? Where do you come from? Please, does it matter? Good morning, Mr. Reed. Have a seat. What's happened to Carla? She's home, wet but safe. What is all this? 
We're the good guys. I'm Mr. Aldo Rossi. Well, you can call me that. That's too Italian for such an Englishman. Whoops. Nowadays are allowed in the best restaurants and even at Cambridge University. What do you want from me? I hear you're looking for your father. We know quite a lot about you, about your past, and even about your future. We're some kind of a philanthropic institution. Our job is to preserve and protect our cultural heritage. Your cultural heritage. Mine? Surely you've heard of Tarquinio Prisco, Servio Tullio, and Masnada. Were they jockeys? They were kings. Such power had the Etruscans. To fill with their name not only the seas, but the land right across Italy. They left behind certain vital archaeological traces that people are trying to steal. All we do know is that the entire organization centers around the Countess, your employer, so to speak, and her strategically highly placed entourage. We need your help, Mr. Reed. What sort of help? Information from the inside. Look, sir, I can hardly read or write. I've never heard of your Etruscans uh, before. I'm not the right person. Very well. I shan't press you. I'll have you escorted back to the estate. It was a pleasure meeting you. Well, Mr. Reed, I almost forgot. Another victim of these vultures. Your father, Valeno. As fast and deadly as poison. Well, that's what triggered my decision to work for Rossi. The news that I was Valeno's son spread quickly. And before I knew it, I was racing for the Contessa. Remember, there are no rules. Stay away from the whips and strike when you have to. Trainers out. you with the St. Martino Trophy. Your father would have been very proud. Why? Do you dope horses like he did? <laughs> hope to see you all two weeks from today. Next event in the calendar. Have you been waiting long? Contessa.
That was taken after the Palio in 1961. May I introduce you to Ganasha, the mayor of Siena. A good jockey in his time. So I've heard. You know Mr. Tarsi, the racing commissioner. How are you, Walter? Fine, thanks. I heard you won the Marsigliana. Yeah. Four in a row, huh? Mm, very impressive. These gentlemen have an offer to make. Yes, uh, we want you to have a chance to win the pally. <laughs> Why? Why offer him all that? Well, why not? The son of a bitch is not satisfied yet. He's gonna dig and dig until... Until what? Somebody's gonna tell him the truth. What if they did? No one would testify against us. What proof would he have? Giorgio, you're talking about something that happened years ago. Murder is murder. No matter how much time goes by. I'm a policeman. I know these things. Nothing will happen. As long as I do your dirty work. Well, you seem to enjoy that. Can't you see that there is more stake than his well-being? I told you my men recognized him as the witness the night of the Palio. <laughs> a lot of things happen on the night of the Palio. <laughs> I thought you hated him. I do. But I believe we'll have more control this way. You used to exercise your control differently. This conversation is beginning to annoy me. Good night, gentlemen. Wait until Ostermeyer hears about this. Contessa? It was a pleasure talking to you. As the months went by, my career as a jockey really took off. My victories earned me my father's nickname, Valeno. But I couldn't find any evidence or even get any information for Rossi. I began to wonder if what he had told me about the Contessa and her smuggling ring was true. Had they really murdered my father? trying to get close to that bird, and you fouled it up. Forget the bird. What did you call me before? What am I going to eat tonight? You called me Valeno. Do you know him? Did I know him? I trained him. The hell with the polio. What interests me is the Etruscan smuggling. My father suddenly dies, my mother leaves the country, you disappear in the woods. Well, maybe you did go crazy. Um... Well, it's been great talking to you. People would kill to have a chance to ride in the palio like you. Where I come from, the palio could be a new type of pasta. Then go back to where you come from. You're not fit to ride it. I've been doing enough riding around here to know what's going on. Palio's different. Thousands of eyes gazing at you. Jockeys with whips made of ox tenons ready to slash you across the face. They don't want you to come in first. But they want their opponents to be last, yeah. Heroes are made and destroyed in two minutes because that's all that lasts. And if you've been lucky, you haven't smashed your face or broken every bone in your body, we're all gonna come running toward you. Not to cheer you. Oh. Gee, that uh, sounds like fun. Got to have it in your blood because it ain't food. It's in my blood. That's why I'm gonna race it. Anybody could have found this chain. On your horse and pick this up if you can. Hey, the palio is run bad that. <laughs>
makes it very handsome too. And so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's talent. That's uh, talent, my ass. He's so sexy, penetrating eyes. He makes you feel undressed, doesn't he? Young Elena was turning out to be a chip off the old block. Ten wins in a row. That's against all the odds. Yes. Yes. Don't bother, Billy. He's already signed. I've got the contract. With you as captain, he wouldn't win with a rocket up his ass. The goose is still sore about his defeat, huh? How much did the eagle charge to make us lose the race? As much as you charge for your wine. They're all talking about you. Let them. Have you met my wife? How do you do? I've seen you race. You're a fabulous rider. Thank you. Excuse me. Would you care to dance? Oh, uh, no, that's all right. I... That's okay. Go ahead. I'll be right here. Mm. A very lucky girl. If I'm not mistaken. She works for the museum. Uh, yeah. Come on, pass it. Excuse me. introduce you to the Bishop of Siena. I heard a lot about you. I thought you were dead. That was his father. Talis pater, talis filius. Unico equal Let go before you start drooling all over me. What are you doing here? I'm serving champagne. It's New Year's Eve. You should be a party. One has to sacrifice himself at least once a year. It helps to pay the bills. Hi. I gotta get out of here. I'm going nuts around all these sleaze bags. Don't, 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 don't. Um, you know, to amuse myself, I spit in the glasses. One yes, one no. It's fun. You spit in the glasses? Yes. Now I really gotta get out of here. Well, you haven't seen the end of it yet. <laughs> Where are you going? Why, do I need a pass to go to the John? Don't be smart ass. Get off my back, then. Oh, excuse me. You beast!
are. Wow, what's been going on in here? Hello? Are you hot or something? Come on, I'll take you home. But it's barely midnight. And what's this stuff? Can you tell me what your problem is? Not now. You crazy? Maybe. What are you saving at? Nothing, sir. Go back to work, then. It's me, Walter. You shouldn't drop in like that. Are you scared someone's gonna steal your foreskin? Just don't like intruders. What do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want to find out the truth. The truth about this. Never saw in my life. That's odd. No one seems to remember her. Yet the Countess keeps her picture hidden in her book. She was married to a famous jockey. Until he got killed? You're jumping to conclusions. How can I? I don't have any. Rossi says my mother left after the Countess had my father killed. Tell me they found, found him hanging in a stable like ten years ago. It wasn't ten years ago. Mystery in the Palio. Countess's daughter moves to the U.S. after Vallejo's death. I knew you'd find it sooner or later. Who better than the Countess's grandson as bait? We had to stir up conflict between them. And then what? Sit back and watch me drop like a fly, just like you did with the rest of them? I never made you do anything. I just taught you to see where your duty lies. You deceived me. I'm quitting. That's entirely up to you. But you'll have to be careful from now on. I'm uh, worried about you. I can't help you officially. Well, what can you do then? I'm confused and scared shitless. I can't blame you for that. But I must be going now. I shall keep in touch. Listen, you got me into this mess. Now get me out. You have to find me some proof. You're the key to your own safety. Good day. Tower Borough, number seven, Lula. Turtle Borough, number three, Distinto. Summer was approaching. I had to decide for which borough I'd run in the Palio. I finally chose the Turtle, my father's borough. So I went to Siena to meet the captain. I'm glad you could make it. Yeah, I had a nice trip. I thought it best to come and pick up. for this moment for many years. The Turtle Burrow last raced with the greatest jockey that ever lived. And now, his son is here with us. I believe that our long wait will prove to be worthwhile. Teledo, I am honored to present you with the Turtle Burrow. Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Walter, smuggling would be like stealing from your father's grave. The jewels are priceless, but it's the engravings that are interesting. No one can decipher the language. Over 10,000 inscriptions have been found. And all we can do is guess. Maybe they're insulting us. Look, I thought you wanted to learn. Oh, sorry. Do you like me, Walter? I think you're intelligent. <laughs> what else? I think you have a good sense of humor. What else? Well, I think I could fall for you. <coughs> I see what you mean about webs around your life. Walter, could you get me my flashlight? Get your what? It's a funny-looking lamp with the batteries. It's in my bag. Oh, your flashlight. Why don't we just get out of here? Okay. I know my dad hears about this. That's weird. These are from all different periods. Precise. Otherwise, I'll never be able to describe this back home. Stop that, will you? Something's wrong with the battery. Great. It's times like this you really need a telephone. Territory. Shh, quiet. If you leave me here, I'm going to start screaming. Okay, come on. Give us a hand. You shouldn't read that stuff. It'll make you go blind. Where'd you get it, anyway? The mayor left it in the car. That man wasn't raving. They do ship them in the statues. They smuggle the stuff in the Madonnas. What are you talking about? It's a long story. Yes? Sir? No, sir. The pendant. Of course. Fuck yours. Come on, Brutus, we gotta go upstairs. Necklace in pure gold, representing the sun, dating from the 5th century B.C. First bid, $500,000. 600. 650. Seven. Oh, somebody fucking... Is it worth it? 750. Plus 500,000. <laughs> Have you spotted anything you like, your highness? How much do you want for your daughter? Going once, going twice, going three times. Sold to Mr. Donald Walsh. 
Jeez, I gotta go now. I ain't racing an hour. Look, get rid of that film as fast as you can. Relax. Don't panic. There's no way they can find out. Just be careful, okay? You bet. I have a note here for a worried parent. Young Gene Allen. I'm looking for you this morning. You're in the shit. Somebody gave you away. How do you know? You took shots at their auction. News travels fast in the provinces. We have no choice. I don't want to end up like Marini and Alfred. I've got a family. So did my father. Listen. Whatever you do, make sure you take care of this team. Why are you doing this? You both belong to the turtle. I'll take care of it immediately. Goodbye. Well, what the hell's going on? That was Walsh checking on his purchases. You told me that to play safe, all the shipments had been made. The cave has already been cleared. I guarantee we left no trace. So what are you waiting for then? Contessa, this organization is becoming extremely unreliable. You've dealt with us for 10 years. I don't see why this time should be any different. What about this uh, jockey? He's being taken care of. He disappeared during the race. Damn it! We are facing a life sentence only because of you. I should have known that sooner or later you would have felt that breathing down your neck and guilt would start creeping in. Let's not lose our temper. It's too late. We're gonna rot in hell anyway. Mr. Darcy, will you please show our friend his way out? Well, Mr. Darcy, are you deaf? Come on, Georgia. As far as I'm concerned, you are through, Contessa. I'm going to find your precious boy, and when I'm done with him, I'll come to get you. <sighs>
want to see Carla. She doesn't live here anymore. Where did she go? How should I know? I don't make a habit of minding my guest business. Where do you think you're going? I want to see if she left something for me. If she did, you're too late. <laughs> should be grateful to our friend here. After all, he saved your life. Grateful? I'll be grateful when you find out Carla's okay. I want the photographs first. I told you already. I left them with her. Come along, my boy. You're smarter than that. I guess I'm not. Unless I have something more concrete, I can't risk exposing my organization. Concrete? What's more concrete than Carla? about her life. Remember that. Or maybe the amusing Italian playboy doesn't like girls anymore. Don't pick on him. He's only following orders. Orders? From who? Who's in charge around here anyway? I've told you before. We work for a number of governments, including your own. My government can't be interested in your junk. On the contrary. The United States and its allies can't allow any act of terrorism. Smuggling is a direct attempt against the historical balance of any nation. We're employed to preserve that balance. Secretly. You're crazy. Maybe. We've been a long time on this case. I can't afford to fail now. What you fail to understand is that you caused the death of innocent people. It's a pity. But an ancient culture is in jeopardy. You make me sick. Please. When you change your, your mind, give the film to Luca. Let me go. Sienna? Good writing, huh? I know you. Huh? Yeah, you're somebody. I don't think so. What time is it, please? Now I remember. You're a rock star. Commissioners filed a formal request to dismiss Baleno from the Palio because of his implication in the murder of his girlfriend. The turtle captain has agreed to sign the paper. The name of the new jockey will be announced shortly. coming a mile away. My God, you look awful. What has happened here? Don't worry, no one knows you here. Why'd you kill her? Sometimes newspapers can be very misleading. It all depends whose side they're on. You expect me to believe that? Would I lie to my own grandchild? So far, you've done everything else. You know, uh, I often wondered what you looked like. 
You could have been a very handsome man. Too bad you took after your father. That obnoxious peasant. Just tell me where Carla is. And then what? They are going to catch up with you sooner or later. I'll win the palio. Oh, some statement from a fugitive wanted by the entire population. Now listen to me. Be reasonable. Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. There is enough money here for you to leave this country comfortably. Take it as a token of... I heard voices. What time is it? What, what are you doing? <gasps> but, but, Auntie. One more word out of you and your career as a jockey is over. Finally told me they took one roll of film. He has it. But where is he? Don't panic, Giorgio. Everyone's against him now. He'll come to us. At this point, I had the film, but they had Carla. Fortunately, Luca came up with a foolproof plan. Giacomino's a good jockey. I haven't had coffee for so long. Answer my question. I didn't know you were going to replace them. Some people get tired of losing. And the Stinto is still the best horse. But you need guts, heart, brains. I'm sorry, Alideo. It's too much of a risk. But my Baru would never forgive me if he failed. It just isn't for this palio. It's for all the palios we've missed. For all the years of humiliation. But you know just as well as I do. The moment he comes to town, he'll be picked up by the authorities. You believe that shit? Everybody else does. It's the usual story. He'll find a way to get here. Just let him ride for you. Do you really think he's got Veleno's class? Wait till he wins for you.
Commissioner, this is Walter. Walter, where are you? I know what you're thinking, and it's not so. You're in a very delicate situation, Walter. But I can help you. Funny, I was just wondering whose body you used. Did you kill someone? Or did you just borrow a corpse from the morgue? I wouldn't be so sarcastic if I were you. Don't waste time with threats, Commissioner. Now, I have the film. And you're too much the bargaining type to risk hurting Carla. All right. Tell me, when and where? The old slaughterhouse in Orbitello. Wednesday afternoon. There'll be a red convertible parked outside. That's the day before the palio. Uh, I'd like to check with the others. Do that. Get them used to the idea that I'm going to race it. What guarantee do we have that it's the original role? The same I have that you're going to let us live. Hello. Hello. Well, what did I tell you? We couldn't have hoped for a better opportunity. for me. It looked pretty hanging from those hooks. Maybe he's bluffing. Walter! Walter! We haven't much time. We should never have come here. It's a little late for regrets, don't you think? Walter! What are you trying to prove? Throw the gun away! Throw it out the window! Now! Go ahead, you idiot! my mind. But, but you can't do that. You, you gave your word. You should have known better. If you have a problem about raising the palio, I'm sure the commissioner would reconsider you up.
proceeds from the auction are already on deposit in Switzerland. Keep away, or I'll blow her brains out. The first time that I saw you 